Can we talk? Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist victims. Wheels come with everything seen here. Condiments sold separately. Some assembly of complex witch style meals may be required. Maybe it's The heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly room. even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs already. Story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry? CNP near Maple Town. It's near the... second fancy running into you again don't mind me it's just admiring your ship from up close gotta hand it to you boss that's a fine looking ship only thing it's missing is me yes i absolutely am just give me a shot that's all i'm asking i could be the best damn crew you ever hired You're serious, you're giving me a shot. All right, uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. What do you think? Am I in? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way.
stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. The thought had occurred to me, boss, but I had to get off the groundbreaker first. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, Broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it? Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. Well, you probably should have insured it. Yeah, sure thing.
question up. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Something going on over there? <laughs> And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? The engineers get real tetchy if you bother them. Speaking from experience. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just be careful next time. Watch out, something isn't exploding in the face. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer's just passing through. Interesting. 
The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll need to ask you to return. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Yeah, huh? I'm going. Yep, be right over.
Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Ship got impounded. That's bureaucracy. Any friend of Felix is free to wander. But I got eyes on you. Yeah, boss? You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Be seeing you, stranger. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way. I'll get back to my. Okay. You're the first person. June Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Ma'am, I, I don't mean to be a bother, but what's Miss Chief June Lay like? If you don't want me asking, I mean. Maybe ask her yourself. It's been fun, but I should probably get back to a deck where I'm not hallucinating about worms all the time. You know how it is. Sounds about right. McCred's something of a gourmand when it comes to mushrooms. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Sure thing. Hey, you got it open. Not so fast. What do you think you're doing? Don't let me catch you around here again. Got it. Heads down.
What do you think? No problem. I'll head over. I could have sworn. Oh, well. Bullshit. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open-faced pasta. You've been getting into the boss's special stash again, haven't you? Got it. Inside voices. On the move. What the? What was that? Heads up!
I'm going. June is gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. June Lei is going to be pleased as pie when we show her these. Processing data. Security patrol initiated. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. trouble today? Not that I want to, just seems to happen around you, that's all. The 
Controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to kill the mass killers, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this thing about dying. Processing. System. Here they come! Unexpected, not secure it. Unexpected noise beginning to get
Processing Performing. Heads up! My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Oh. 
Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention.
Zero.